Okay, here's the main roads. And actually, the main roads can sometimes be more treacherous, treacherous uh, than the side roads because you get hooked into one of those big snow ruts, they'll suck you right in the ditch. Okay, let's, let's check this little burner thing out here, friends. I wanna show you kind of what I'm going through. Like that. And because we're so cold and close to sea level, what I do to start my burner is I, I, I go like this, watch. I get, I get a bit of air going, because if you don't get air going, you're gonna, watch what happens, just watch. Okay, that's all I need to get it rolling, right? Okay, so now I open up propane, so propane's opened wide open, and this is kind of how this sits, but give it air, see what happens? So this burner's working quite nice. Can you guys see, but too much air, and it'll, it'll actually blow the flame out. You see, two settings on the fan, so let's see. Yeah, see, it almost blows it out. That means the regulator needs to be turned up a bit. It just has to be. So I keep a little air going, just like that. See what I mean? Oh, there, it just blew it out. That's new. I am gonna share this, this, this information and I am gonna put it up on YouTube because if you've just started forging, I am a complete 100% green man on starting these forges, these ribbon burners. I tried to fire up my ribbon burner outside, just, just in the air. It didn't take, the fan would blow it out. Mind you, I've got a small tank, so there's not a lot of pressure in that tank. As I say, a hundred pounder or whatever, which I will get. But I wanna show you something. So now I gotta turn that off real quick. Turn that off real quick. So, so if anybody runs into this, I, I've, I've run into this. This came from back east, okay? So it's wonderful. Everything's working very nice. And I had it going for about an hour last night. And this isn't my, my can, friends. This isn't my, my jug of propane. It's what I have right now. We're dealing, with, we're dealing with some interesting situations right here, right now, friends. This is what we're dealing with. I just shoveled all my kids, Rita and all this for them so they could get around and out of here. They could do it themselves. I was just out and about. So like it, you can see it though. It is starting to melt because we've got a mist. Yeah, there we go. My Brad had the regulator set nice when it when it got here but when you hit the air to it it dies it just it it dies so we're gonna do the you know smell no propane good that's off okay good and you're you're, you're best to blow the propane out of the system turn your fan on blow this blow the propane or you'll have propane up in there and it could woof you know what i'm saying propane's funny friends so I will give you guys an angle now of the burner from underneath. If it don't fire, I shut the sucker off. So I'm gonna give it a second, blow the propane out, hit it again. It, it's probably fine right now, but either way. Okay, let's do it. There we go. Okay, I got my propane open wide up, let's see. See how it starts to go away there? Nope. See, this is the thing. <laughs> so friends, I, I'm gonna, I was thinking about this, you know, friends, I'm gonna interject for just a second here because I, I go to YouTube when I don't know how to do something or I, I'm struggling with something, I go to YouTube. Who would I be if I was to just keep all this stuff like under my hat? Oh, it, it makes, it looks like I don't know what I'm doing. No, I'm going to show you that I don't know what I'm doing and I'm going to show you how I get through it. So that if somebody starting blacksmithing or going through the same thing I am, because blacksmithing's is fun, um, they'll at least have my video or someone else's video to go to, to see that this guy was struggling this way. He did. You know, this is what YouTube is about for me. It's a plethora of information that, that you can go and find. You find your keys, boy? Yeah. Good. Um, so I'm putting this on here. Now this thing would not run, friends. It would not run out, with even with the regulator cranked outside without the confined space. 
see what happens here. I'll show you what happens. This is kind of interesting because I was kind of getting a little bit frustrated and I thought, well, maybe we'll just put it in, set it up and try it again. This is neat. So, I don't know. It's almost like I gotta have this thing cranked. It is cold. Okay. This might do it. Maybe not. Oh, maybe. Nope. Hey friends, remember when we did all those things? So friends, I'm turning the fan on and then shutting it off and then turning it on and shutting it off and turning it on and shutting off so I don't blow the thing out. I could have probably phoned Brad and figured this out, but you know what? I'm learning this stuff. I'm just going through it. I'm not a, I'm not a foolish man. Uh, I do have mechanical sense. So I'm just learning as I go here. So that is actually very interesting. For, for someone that's new, I am going to share this, this, this information and I am going to put it up on YouTube because if you've just started forging, I am a complete 100% green man on starting these forges, these ribbon burners. I tried to fire up my ribbon burner outside, just, just in the air. It didn't take, the fan would blow it out. Mind you, I've got a small tank, so there's not a lot of pressure in that tank as I say a hundred pounder or whatever which I will get but I want to show you something watch what I'm doing this thing's going now there's my regulator at about maybe half just above half okay watch what happens I want to show you guys this okay this is going to be hot now so I got to get a tool so let's get let's get these and open this up let's just get these I want to show you guys, gals, women, and children, I want to show you the flame when I turn this, this regulator. I want you guys to watch what happens. See our flame in there? It's quite healthy. It is. It's a nice, healthy flame. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this counterclockwise, which drops, which takes fuel away, okay? Watch the flame as I do that. Watch what happens. starting to struggle and sputter. Okay, let's crank it and see what happens. See that? That's rip roaring. Okay, so there's still more, but I'm just saying. I turned it back down. Okay, I just turned it back down to about maybe See? See what happened? Listen. It's sputtering again. So, I'm pretty comfortable with that. Just a nice little flame going down. Hey? So, that's how that goes. But remember, something very important I just realized. It did not start outside just... This is beautiful. This is very, very cool. Okay, 
So there we go. This is haywire. Don't don't give me bonanzas for this because I'm just getting things going. I'm in a dry spot there. Don't worry. There is water in here. I'm very conscious about what I'm doing right now, but I just wanted to, to share that information because if you're, this is fun, funner than heck. I can't believe how much fun I'm having, but remember something friends. I'm going to shut this door. I thought I was going home because I had cold shoulders from the rain, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to shut the doors here and we're going to burn a piece of metal somehow. I'm going to find one. I've got something somewhere, so I'll burn. Okay, so we're cooking. And you know what, friends? This is insulated. This is not getting hot. It's just not. It's crazy. Look at that. This is this is neat. Losing a little bit of heat there, that's fine. Okay. I am I know I'm all over, sorry friends. I don't have my tripod and I, and I did not expect to do this today, doing what I'm doing right now. I just didn't expect it. Let's do that. Okay, now. Uh, Take your vest off. Okay, now this is pretty. Holy smokes, it's warm up here. Wow! All the heat. Cool. Okay. I mean, do that again. Tighten up the nuts on that lower beam. Where? The ones going up vertical. Okay. I'm holding it into the bottom. And actually, this doesn't have the top plate doesn't have legs in it neither. I can see it moving, so we'll secure all that, eh? Yeah, we'll do that. After. A couple of metal plates. Okay. Yeah, we'll get her hung up for now. Just don't lift a ton off of it. Just fine. I think I found myself a set of West Coast mirrors. No way. I think I did. I found I found one. Yeah, what? Really? Ah. Let's see. Camper mirrors? Yeah. Look, these guys. Holy. Oh, that's better. There we go. Okay, friends. How's everybody? Good, good to see you. Um, friends, I, I just want to pop in here for just a second and tuck in my Argyle vest that I'm so cozily wearing with my vest. I am a, I am a vest monster. I have been, if you go back, <clears throat> if you go back in my channel from the very beginning, the very beginning, um, I'm a guy that works with my hands, my arms, my body, right? 
So I, I'm not a jacket man. You, you can, I think this year I wore my big green jacket a couple of times, it was cold, and I was over here doing stuff. Um, I'm a vest guy. I've always been a vest guy. And I'll tell you something, friends. I'm not used to this. I'll just give it to you straight right now. This is difficult for me. Um, I'm not, a, I'm a guy who throws power saws in the back or grabs an ax, jumps out of my pickup, turns the camera on and starts debauchery, starts happening, stuff starts happening. This, this is difficult for me. Uh, yes, I have patience, but this is setup time and I'm, I'm, I've never been real good at setup time. And especially because my contents usually go, go, go. It's a little change, friends. It's a little change. So it's all worth it. I know that and everything. But I'm just letting you know how I feel about it. It's a little bit more difficult for me. So, uh, but we're, 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 getting, we're getting right in here. We're flying right. We're getting things hung. Uh, we're going to hang another uh, 220 plug for my press. Okay, friends. I'm going to show you guys, gals, women and children, uh, novice, um, blacksmith people like myself i am i am going to document everything i go through i have a channel and i'm going to do it i'm going to document what i go through now what i'm doing right now my, my starting procedure for my forging is um while i don't really have well i do i do have a starting procedure i need to get a new one of these this this one it it actually doesn't even, yeah, see, it just literally just farts. It, it's, it's empty, I think. I left my other one at home, so I should get another one, but I'm gonna try something. This is my starting procedure, friends. <coughs> I start the fan, but I don't leave it on because it blows the freaking flame out. So, but in order to get propane into the, into the tank, what I do is I turn on the fan. Then I turn it off, and with the existing run-on of air, I turn the propane on nice and close, turn, click, boom. And I'm talking right in on the flamer, okay? That's just what I do. So we'll do this, watch. Turn this on, listen. Just like that, okay? And then I turn it off, and then I turn the propane on right away. Like that. <laughs> oh, that propane's funny. So next time what I'm gonna do, I'm learning this as I go, friends. I, I'm just learning as I go. I'm going to share this with people so that they can revert to this and hopefully this will help someone. It's some of it's haywire, yeah, but what that's too, that's how I learn, right? So the next fire up, what I'm gonna do is because think about that now, air is pushing pushing the propane out. So as soon as that, that fan goes on, it's pushing the propane in so that it fills in there fairly quick in that little space. That's why it did that little woof. So if I let the fan um, settle down a bit more, it won't be as violent of a pop. It'll be more like a pfft. So that's what I'll do next time, which might even be today. I'm going to buy my 100 pound tank right now in Shimanus at a place called Viper Fuels. They recondition We'll see. I sent them a little thing. Maybe we can walk their walk their their place and uh, check out their their system. Anyway, I'm going to get that. And uh, friends, it's just day by day right now. So you're going to see what's going on in my world. Uh, yeah, let's get back at it. See that, and then hit the fan. But I don't turn it on all the way right away. See, it'll blow the flame out. So I just on off, on off. Until I open up, propane's wide open now. You see what's going on? Burn the hair off my hand, that's okay. Okay, I think we're gonna be okay now. Yeah, we're good, we're golden. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> oh yeah, I sizzled my hands right off. <laughs> God, it comes in fast, just boom. 
Who needs a wood stove, friends? So you saw what I done though, right? Because if you just turn the propane, I think you could probably turn the propane on without the fan, maybe, or let the, let the air settle a little bit less so it's just, just blowing the propane a little bit, and then light it, and then turn propane. You know what I'm saying, right? This thing's rocking, and the burner looks good. So this isn't for, I'm not trying to heat the, uh, the canister right now, I'm trying to heat me and Nick. What do you need? So friends, you may think old Billy Ray's haywire, and he is, I, I, I'm haywire as, as they come, but when it comes to friends working on stuff for me, I don't, I don't take no chances, none whatsoever. I put this little safety chain on here. This is a, 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 a orchard ladder on concrete. Now, if this were to slip, I'm not gonna do it right now, but cause he's up there. But friends, you know what? It took a second to just throw that chain on there. It slips, it just sits there. It's good. Old Billy Ray cares about his friends, especially friends that lighten up his day. <laughs> Oh dear. That's a little brighter. Oh, that's lovely. Look at the, oh wow. <laughs> it's actually a nice light too. Good, beautiful. Okay friends, we're here in the shop. We're, we're getting set up. We got a bunch of rigging. We got a hang. I bought these on eBay. They are deadly. Lighting ever, LE lighting. Two piece. I didn't realize friends, I bought six because I was gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And I didn't realize <laughs> that they're twin packs. So I've got like, they're, and they're, they're deadly. Nick, what's this? Oh, it's another light. Yeah, so, yeah, they're so they're these things are deadly. Uh, if I'm not, well, I ain't no sponsor. You guys know that, but uh, these are great lights. So whenever I see something good that he, 30 seconds, it was up, boom. He lit it up and it was, and it was lit. This is gonna be incredible. We're gonna have such good lighting in here to see this thing work. Wow. Ooh, that's one. Okay, so she's a little dark in the old shop. We're getting some, I mean, it's okay. It's not, you know, but then Nick, he's got some lights. He's, oh, heavens to Betsy. <laughs> that's, that's, that's slightly better. So let's stand behind here. Okay, go ahead. Oh, wow. Turn off. On. <laughs> that is actually amazing. Especially once we get the third one in the middle there. This is crazy. See, I, I'm so happy that Nick is here. Look at Nick. He's brightened my day right up. No pun intended. <laughs> he, uh, Literally. You know something, friends? To be honest, seriously, I'm just giving it to you straight. I, I know nothing, zero, about electrical construction. I know how to swing a hammer. That's about it. I did a little framing with my brother. He taught me some framing stuff. Uh, all my construction through the years, without a, a, a word of uh, embellishment, has been with a power saw and a hammer and nails. I witnessed it. That's how we built the fences in the bunker. It's true, friends. Uh, <laughs> Nick was there. He helped build it. I, I just, it's just who I am. And I eye everything up. I, if level, whatever, this will work. So, it's worked for me very well, and it's also worked against me. So, yeah, that's how it is. But we are lighting this freaking place up. I'm very excited about it. Um, oh, it's gonna be bright. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty tickled. I'm just looking at this lens here. I smashed my camera, friends, the other day. We got lucky. Look at this man up here. Wow, those lights are bright. I like them. It's dark in here, man. Man, it's dark. Where's Nick? He's way over there. Hi, Nick. Hi. It's dark, Nick. Have you? I, I, I got to run a shop in here, Nick. I can't be working in the dark. Like, when are you going to get these lights done up for me? I've asked you to come. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's without the high base. See? Look at that. That's without these centered things here, friends. Look at this. 
I mean, tur yeah, so look at that. Even without them, that's oh, still pretty it's good. It's beautiful without them, but th those, they add, don't they? Oh, yeah. Wow. This shot is lit up. Friends, LEDs were lit. This makes me happy. Next project, we got the panel opened up. We got our forge going for our wood stove heat. Our next project, taking this 220, Nick told me all we gotta do, cause this is 220 here that runs up and around and it hangs on an extension cord. All we gotta do is take that, cut that off, add one of those onto it, flip it over top, roll it in and hang it over there. And it's Goldendo. Yes, Goldendo. I know, I know it's a new word again. Good day, Nick. Thank you. No problem. Just wonderful. We we had a we had a huge day in here, friends. Lots of wiring done. We actually got the press wired. I wanted to be able to start to envision a setup. I'll probably run my forge off of that electrical, you know, close to the door, you know, or there. I could literally plug it in here and run it right at the door. I want to be able to just turn around and bang. I'm in the press. I'm like two steps from the from the press, so out of the heat, in the press, then I'll have a, a, you know what I mean, friends? Like, it's all gonna be, come together real nice. So we did a lot of work. We did, we did come across, uh, Nick had to pull some some tricks out of his thing here. We had the wrong, we just bought the wrong uh, reciprocator thing, but Nick didn't wanna leave without this press firing up. No, I so he play. He wanted to play, so we, we used the buck and stamp on a couple of pieces of wood and played around, nothing crazy, but we're set up. It's now, I think it's close to four o'clock. I'm okay. going home. Friends, uh, Nick, we're just closing up shop. Uh, Nick, this one goes through here. Is it the, it's the air compressor. So yep. let's just turn it off. So if somebody comes in to flick the switch, whatever, they can figure it out, but maybe they won't. Anyway, friends, last note of the day. Nick, I built this Arvika for Nick. Oh gosh. Four years ago. Probably, probably four years ago. He was splitting some harsh, harsh hemlock, knotty, buttress wood. It was gross. And he, he, he actually got a hold of me. He said, Buck, and I got bad news. I said, what axe did you break? And he said, because we do call him the wrecking ball too from time to time. Um, so I said, oh, no, don't, just bring it out. He sent me pictures of it. It was it split, split. Right down here. Like right down the handle, Right friends. down the middle. And I said, bring it out here. We'll dowel it. You know how I talk about them, them dowels. I've showed it a few times on the channel where you dowel through drill holes and dowel. Nick has not had a... Yeah. One there, one there, one there. Oh yeah, you can see them. One there. One there. I put five in. I remember five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Five dowel in that. Sorry, friends. Five dowel, you can see them. There's one right there. Two. Four. One, two, three, four, and five right there. Yeah, we put five in, and that's an Arvika. It's a nice, Nick loves it. This is before they got too skinny, the Arvikas. Even though this is thin, it's not as thin as some of the others. No, see, this one's not bad. That's not a bad splitting. They, you know what? This is an older head. It splits great. Yeah. It's because it's not thin like they make nowadays. But that is sold as a, as a felling axe. Isn't that crazy? Get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> Over and out, friends. See you on the next video. We love you all. Be kind to one another. Hit the thumbs up if you liked what you saw here. If you didn't, then hit the thumbs down. Leave a comment. Catch you on the next one.